Gemini, this is Alex, and I'm here to bring you your love reading for August of 2020. Thank you so much uh, for your support and subscriptions. I really appreciate it. If you're ever interested in booking a private reading or even making a donation to the channel, please check the description box below. And for your donations, please remember to put the word donation in the memo field and thank you in advance. Um, also, I'm live every Thursday between 7 and 9 p.m. Eastern right here on YouTube for $5 uh, Q&A uh, live streams, okay? Then last but not least, if you're ever interested in purchasing any of my handmade candles or floral arrangements, hit me up on uh, Facebook at Alex's Passionate Creations and then also on Instagram at alexis.passionate.creations. And that information is in the description box as well. Let's get to your reading, Gemini, okay? Folks, worth waiting for. Divine timing is at work in your love life. Woo! Worth waiting for. That just says to me in Gemini language, impatience, right? Some of you are sick and tired and tired of sick of damn waiting. It's like, well, how much more waiting you want to do? So you get tired of waiting and you stop waiting and just going with your life, which is really what's wait, what we consider waiting, right? It's just going on with your life and allowing you, the universe to um, bring in, to usher in, I'm being told, uh, whatever the next instructions or downloads are related to your spiritual path, your life, your love life, your work life, your social life, whatever it is. Come on and be five cards. Oh, you got the sun. Seven of cups. Uh, a lot of you guys are confused and not necessarily. Oh, it did give me five cards. Nice. You're confused. You don't know what's going to happen. Um, not only that, but I also feel like for a lot of you guys, you're scrambling, right? That scrambling is basically trying to find something, anything, just something to get your mind off this love, right? Um, it's frustrating you because, again, it's waiting. It's not only waiting, it's waiting in silence and it's waiting without information. And that sucks. Look at, look at the knight jumping out of my hand, right? You have the knight of cups. The love is coming in. You got love coming in. He's a pretty move, fast moving knight. Um, angels are saying he wants you. He definitely does or she wants you. So they're coming in. Just make sure, Gemini, that that impatience doesn't block your ass. Okay, I'm just saying. I'm just saying. All right. Hey, Leo, next card, right? The sun is Leo. Um, happiness, you know, brighter days, better days are a coming, Gemini. I believe it when I see it. <laughs> yes, some of y'all. Look, what I say, what I say. So all this bullshit that you think you're going through with all this waiting and impatience, like, God damn it, come on, universe. Right? The, you, he's, he's on his way from the five of wands. What's the five of wands going back and forth? Right? You know, struggling, conflict, drama, just, ah, right? And all of a sudden, you're like, I'm tired of waiting. Let me just go over here and, like, do some work. And it's like, bam, your victory, your waiting is over. Last card. <laughs> um, the two of swords. I feel like this is basically saying some of you guys are still blocked. See them things over her eyes that are... Uh, um, disrupting her vision, right? Um, this is weird because angels just said to me, whatever it is that you're waiting on, you should be able to see it. But because you're so frustrated with waiting, you're blinded by the the um, the um, signs that the universe has given you. So Gemini, stop your shit. Open up your eyes, right? And then at the bottom of the deck. Is the Hierophant, which is tradition and commitment and uh, spiritual advice and education. You know, it also represents marriage too, okay? So for those of you guys who are on the road, damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it. Um, for those of you guys who are interested in on your road to getting married, y'all better open up your eyes and stop your shit. Right? It's like on one hand, you're confused and you're blinded by your confusion. But then on the other hand, um, you're refusing to see what's right in front of you. It's almost like the signs that God, angels, and the universe are giving you. 
Jumper, jumper, jumper. Yes, universe. Yes. <laughs> Judgment. Right? So um, this is, says to me that a lot of you guys need to reaffirm what it is that you want from this person and what it is that you're looking to get out of this uh, relationship. Because I feel like for some of you guys, you've lost hope and you're not you're now doubtful. So it's almost like, um, you know, in the beginning you knew what you wanted, but then but then because it's taking so long to get to you, it's like for some of you guys, you you no longer know what you want. I can't make this up. Let me just go ahead and turn the second four up. You got the four of swords with the four of cups. Uh, I just said it. I just said that, you know, for a lot of you guys, because you've been waiting for so long, you're not necessarily sure um, that, you know, either you're going to get what you want or that you want what you thought you wanted anymore, right? With the four of swords, that's you guys kind of going within and, you know, trying to figure it out. What I'm also getting here with the Four of Swords, it's like a lot of you guys uh, consider yourself, think that you're going to try to force this, force the universe using mind over matter or maybe telepathy or something like that, but it's not going to work. Page of Swords with the Moon, right? You got the Page of Swords. So this is you spying, right? Or you data gathering, I'll call it. Could be watching these videos, could be speaking to a psychic, could be inquiring about your person or your person could be doing doing these things for to you, um, doing these things for about you, um, Gemini. So they may be stalking you or looking at your Instagram or Facebook or, you know, YouTube page or whatever to see what's going on with you. With the mood, <laughs> I said mood. But I meant the moon, right? With the moon, moon card, somebody's unclear. Somebody's unclear and somebody's like weary. They're unclear and they're weary. Um, you, I feel like who, like if this is related to a relationship, it's almost like both of you are losing hope and losing faith. Now, the other thing that I want to, you know, um, first before saying that, let me also show that the eight of wands is at the bottom of the deck. So you should see some some type of forward movement soon, some type of communication, some sort of sign, light at the end of the tunnel from the universe um, to show you that things are still progressing, right? Um, what I was going to say previously was, you know, um, if this is, this is a relationship, right? If this is um, about a relationship and you've been waiting for a while, right? You have to ask yourself because light energy in this universe is quicker than that, right? So if this is taking long, it's because somebody is struggling on with an evolutionary lesson, okay? And you can't rush them if it's them, right? And if it's you, they can't rush you. God forbid it's the both of you, okay? Because y'all are the one who's dragging your feet and you're causing the delay. Okay, so Gemini, if you are struggling again with impatience because shit is just not happening the way you wanted to, when you wanted to, because one of y'all just keeps failing the test. Um, it could be you, Gemini, with again this block, thinking that you know what's gonna happen, but you know, it's almost like you think you know what's gonna happen, so you're doing things in anticipation of something happening, but that's not even the case. So stop it. Because what it is that you're doing is actually help, uh, hurting more than helping, right? So let me, not only am I going to read these in placements, but I'm going to read them backwards. Your uh, commitment or your wish, you know, what it is that you've been asking for um, is about to show up, right? You are going to get some sort of communication and it's going to be the communication that you have been longing for for so long. Um, not only that, but I also feel like with this Hierophant here, Taurus, right? Um, this is also acknowledgement, right? The Hierophant also has to do with institutions and education and higher thinking and things of that nature, right? So I do kind of feel like this person is coming in quickly with a perspective, maybe not necessarily an apology, but they're coming in with full justification as to why it took them so long. 
right? With the moon and then also the two of um, swords. Again, this is double blindness, right? Because the moon is about illusion and the rose colored glasses effect. And the two of swords is like, look, we keep going past, we keep, um, um, we keep arguing and talking past each other and we're just not learning anything and we're not progressing. We're, we just kind of keep repeating a cycle and keep doing the same things over and over. Like we're not, angels just said, it's almost like we're just two ships passing through the night and we've been fucking passing each other for the past eight months. Right? So be mindful of that, um, Gemini, as in when your person comes back and they come back in, don't just resort back to the same shit that you was doing eight months ago. <clears throat> the Knight of Cups with the Page of Swords. This is to me like somebody expressing their love and somebody being very vocal about love. And then also this is somebody kind of, um, it's almost like, it's almost like when people call me as an example and ask the question, well, you know, does he love me or does she love me? So it's almost like you getting that emotional fulfillment from a third party situation from everybody else other than the source. Okay. So, um, angels are saying, well, that's what keeps them going. All right. Whatever floats your boat. Four of Swords and the Sun. This is almost like you're getting opportunity and reasons to be happy and being, you know, um, being in joy. But you are, you know, kind of tucked away in meditation, secluding yourself, you know, kind of being that hermit when you got to get out there and live the rest of your life and not do it in vain. Doing it in vain is just forcing things as opposed to doing them naturally. Gemini, I feel like the love is around you, but again, you're so locked off and blocked off that you can't even feel it, right? It's almost like this person has been uh, sending you Hail Marys, but you're so, again, in your own head, in your own mind, in your own heart, you know, again, thinking that we're going to go one way, but they're trying to show you and you can't see it. And there it is as confirmation, right? As in all of the signs, all of the symbols, just everything that God, angels, and universe has been going, you know, kind of throwing your way with respect to love. It's almost like you have to figure out that number one, yes, these signs have been coming to you. And then also at the same time, um, learn to look out for them as opposed to looking out for whatever it is you think you should be getting. Right. And with this, that's going to bring you into an, it's going to bring a revelation. It's going to bring you into an enti entirely different awareness about not necessarily just your situation, but, um, your love life in general. It's like, oh, he's been showing love or she's been showing love in this way all this time. But I thought it was this. Holy crap. Right. I kind of feel like for a lot of you guys, you could have that aha moment. And then it just changes. It just changes everything about your relationship. Oh, I just got a feeling that one of my friends is probably going to be reaching out to me soon. I'd be surprised if they don't interrupt this video. So let me hurry up. Uh, healing family issues. Your love life benefits as you forgive your parents. Well, that's out of the blue, right? Um, angels are saying, well, that's where they get the impatience from because... They're basing their relationship on what they saw growing up with their parents, thinking that that's how relationships are supposed to be. But they're learning a hard lesson that whatever it is that you grew up with, doesn't it's not necessarily going to float your boat. Second card, separation. Wow, time apart from your partner is on the horizon. Yeah, so for a lot of you guys, you could be out of communication, not currently, you know, on speaking terms with your partner. Again, that's being done on purpose. It's okay. Um, it's okay. Pay attention to the red flags. The signs are cautioning you, right? Um, pay attention to the red flags, guys. What is this? Um, angels are saying there's more information that will come. Oh, they're saying you're going to hear something about that this your person's particular situation um, that angels are going to want you guys to pay attention to. Now, when we say red flags, we don't necessarily mean red flags that are going to alter your relationship, 
but red flags that your partner is dealing with right now that could be causing that delay with you as well, right? So it's almost like pay attention to the shit that they're going through that's affecting you and you and your person, okay? I hope that helps. That was like a real deep reading. I had some intuitive stuff and channeling going on um, outside of the cards as long as with the cards. Anyway, guys, if it does resonate, you know what to do. I love you so much. Bye.